You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. find yourself afraid of what the future will be? Are you doubtful about how to reclaim your life? Licensed clinical social worker Trudy Tobias is here to help. This is Reinventing Your Life at Any Age with host Trudy Tobias. Listen as Trudy shares information with proven techniques that will help you gain courage, make the necessary changes, overcome obstacles, and take actions to reinvent yourself in order to create the life you love. So please welcome your host of Reinventing Your Life at Any Age, Trudy Tobias. Hi, this is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. And we're coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. So welcome, everyone. I, I hope that we have some listeners from last week tuned in, and I'm going to go over some of the things that we talked about to catch everybody up, up so that we're all kind of on the same playing field. I also want to encourage people to call in. Uh, so that this can be an interactive uh, session like it was last time. And so if you need the number, it's 866-451-1451. That's 866-451-1451. So first, let me tell you why I created and am so passionate about reinventing yourself at any age. Uh, I created a method to do this called the Truest Method of Coaching. And I am a licensed clinical social worker as well as a reinvention coach. And the reason I did this was was not only because it came from my own life and what I needed to do for myself, but in working with clients, I saw over and over again how that when especially women uh, were in the thick of the thick of a personal crisis or were feeling stuck in some way, perhaps were stuck in a relationship or a work situation or a personal crisis, as I mentioned, such as perhaps an unexpected death of a, of a loved one or a, a divorce or something that we find quite traumatic. And it can be really hard to see a way out. And it's a challenge to think that there is something better on the other side. But I want you to know that every ending really can be a beginning. So even though you may be wallowing in sadness and anger and guilt, fear, perhaps even shame, and, and you can feel like you're just barely getting by, that it's only because you've been operating out of habitual patterns that keep you stuck and don't let you see a way out. In the past, it may have taken you a really long time to feel better and start seeing new possibilities, but you can change your mode of responding. And a crisis really does not have to derail you. You don't have to spend months or years waiting to, for the gift in it to understand, to feel better. Instead, you can really learn a new habitual response, one in which you remain powerful in the face of any challenges and automatically tap into the strengths that are waiting to come out. So whatever difficulty or disappointment you're going through, there is a bright side waiting there. Excuse me. There's a bright light waiting on the other side. And it's my goal to help you find that joy as quickly as possible. So I'm really excited about that, which is why I wrote the book, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, which you can get on Amazon and why I do the coaching and counseling that I do. And those two things are different. I can explain that in a moment. But uh, And also why I want to create this radio show, because I really wanted to reach more people to let them know that you don't have to wallow and stay in misery for long. It really is up to us to make a shift or a change. And I know that can sound so trite to some of you and maybe just way too easy, but as Les Brown says, accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is 
you that will get you where you want to go and no one else. And what I find really exciting and empowering about that, you don't have to wait for somebody else to do something in order for you to feel better. You don't have to wait for your partner to start treating you better. You don't have to wait for your boss to notice you and give you a raise. All of those things are helpful, but it is what the shift that you do inside of you that really counts. So in my case, for example, although I did leave a long-term marriage of 32 years in which I was very unhappy, it's really not the fact that I left the marriage that has caused me to feel much happier and invigorated and have a greater zest for life. It's really what I did within myself before I left the marriage. And that was to shift my way of thinking and feeling and responding. So while in that case, I wasn't able to stay in that relationship and continue to grow and thrive, and that sometimes happens, I was able to grow and thrive within myself. And that's because I changed the habitual way I was thinking. And when we change our thoughts, we change our beliefs. Beliefs and thoughts kind of go side by side, or it's like a circle. Thoughts create beliefs, beliefs create thoughts, it goes around and around. And I was able then to not only change my beliefs, such as I must be a people pleaser, everybody must love me, their needs are more important than mine, etc. I was able to go, okay, what is it that I need and that I want in life, and that it's perfectly okay to have my own needs. So one question I would encourage listeners to ask themselves is whatever situation you're in is to say, is this what I want for the rest of my life? And if it isn't, to know that you can do something about it and that it is you and only you who can do something about it. Now, sometimes it's very helpful to have a therapist or a coach to help you along the way, but in order to really anchor those changes within you. Nonetheless, it's you who's making the shifts. Nobody else can do it for you. So it's the only courage you ever need is the courage to fulfill the dreams of your own life. That was by Oprah. And I think that is so important because we choose. It's scary to choose something that's unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. A quote that's uh, attributed to Christopher Columbus, I think it's also attributed to to other people, but it says, you can never leave, you can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And I think that's so important to know that we need the courage to venture into the unknown because if we give up where we are and how we have been habitually then we are recreating or reinventing ourselves. And we don't know what that future is going to be. So it's really helpful to have a very strong desire. Your desire needs to be strong that this is what you want because you're going to get some pushback to go back into your old ways of being. Your own ego will push you back into your own ways of being because that's our comfort zones. And we human beings like to be in our comfort zones. It feels familiar. It feels good. So you have to have a strong desire to say, like I did when I said, nope, this is not what I want for the rest of my life. And it didn't matter to me that I was 62 years of age when I made that decision. So I think that we have to know that we can do this, that we we just need the courage and the desire and changing our paradigms or our beliefs in order to do that. And, and anybody can do it if they have enough belief and courage. So we're also going so we're also going to talk about our vision, and how our vision can help us increase our desire and get us to where we want to go. And we have a great guest coming on later who will help with that. I'm Trudy Tobias. This is Reinventing Yourself Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and we'll be right back. 
Global Glory. That's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the Word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards she is a spirit book of the year gold medal living now book award winner and her book is a number one amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the living now spirit book of the year an inspirational speaker mj will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life your life did not just happen to you you chose it which means you can change it visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024 Hi, welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. So I wanted to explain how this process works, because I know it can just sound very ethereal or kind of out there a bit. But what's really fascinating now is that science is catching up with what we have intuitively known for for years. I first started studying these principles in 1970. And uh, it's really interesting now how epigenetics, neuroscience, quantum physics are all letting us know that, that these ideas really have a basis, in fact, in science. So it's science and metaphysics are actually coming together to really hone in that we can change our lives by changing how we think. When we change how we think, we change our beliefs. When we change our beliefs, we change how we react and respond, which changes our feelings. And that then brings in new things in our lives. So let me talk to you a little bit about the mind, brain, and body. So if all of us were all of a sudden our skulls were invisible, we could see where our brains are. I know sometimes we wonder where they are, but we know that there is a three and a half pound organ in our skulls, pinkish gray in color, that can do more than any computer on earth can do. It's amazing how we get, we receive and respond to 10,000 new facts a second and the brain processes all that. The thing about the brain, though, is that it accepts whatever it has been given. So the brain is like our biocomputer. A computer does not distinguish what it's given. It only knows how it's been programmed. Our minds are the spiritual part of ourselves. By spiritual, I don't mean religious. It's just that nobody really knows where the mind is. Some theorists say that it's in every cell of our body. Some say it's our connection to source or the divine. Some say it's the part of us that that it, uh, is in our brain, but there's no physical part. We can see the limbic system of the brain, but we don't know where the mind is. But what we do know is the mind is that part of us that thinks thoughts, consciously and unconsciously. And those thoughts get programmed into our brains, and then our brains tell our body what to do, how to respond. So, for example, if 
someone says something and you're feeling hurt, chances are you were thinking something like, there he is criticizing me again, or I always make that mistake, or whatever it is, if you're experiencing an unpleasant feeling about it, recognize that it didn't just come out of nowhere. It came from your thoughts. We're not always aware of what we're thinking. Sometimes it's in our subconscious. But the more we become aware of how we responded, we can become aware of how to change those thoughts. And when we change those thoughts, then we literally change our body's reaction and our behavior. So I'm sure you've had the experience of sleeping and dreaming and then waking up by kicking your your foot jutted out because you had a dream and you dreamt you were falling. That's an example of how our brain didn't distinguish that this was a dream. We know it once we awaken and our mind goes, oh, that was just a dream. But meanwhile, our brain still told our body something. And what it did is our automatic reflux of trying to stop ourselves from falling, our foot kicked out. So how do we go about changing those programs that we have been giving it or that were given to us, especially before the age of seven, by well-meaning parents or other caretakers or experiences in life? That's what needs to become changed. And when our, our thoughts change enough, our beliefs then change because beliefs are composed of our thoughts. They're a com- compilation of our thoughts. So how we believe is really important. And there are so many examples of people who have not believed what doctors said in terms of, oh, you have a fatal ir- illness and you'll never walk again. Or you're going to die in six months. And there are people who have, who have definitely beaten those odds. So, for example, you may have heard of Mary Morrissey. She's written a, and conducts a lot of programs on just what I'm talking about in terms of creating your own life, having being a dream builder, creating your own life, changing your beliefs. And she had the experience of when she was quite young, I think 17 or 18, of having been told that she had a fatal illness from her kidneys. And she had to have one kidney removed, but the other one was about 80% non-functioning. And somebody came into her hospital room. I'm not exactly sure who it was. She never really clarified who it was. But who told her that what if I told you that you could be completely healed? Would you believe me? And Mary said, no, I don't think so. And after they talked a while, this person said, well, could you believe that I believe it. And Mary thought, well, I guess I could. And so this person told her to, when they removed the the defected kidney, the one that was dead, when they removed it, just to keep telling herself that all disease was removed at the same time. And that's exactly what she did. The person also suggested that she visualize or vision herself. She, Mary had a baby, quite young at like 17, and this person told her to vision raising this child, see herself with the child in kindergarten, see herself being happy and thrilled when the child graduated high school and then college and then got married and to keep focusing on the vision that she wanted. And Mary Morrissey is alive and well today and was so excited by the transformation she experienced that she went out to teach others and is doing so to this day. A few seasons ago, there was a woman, a para-Olympian on Dancing with the Stars. I happen to to like that show, mainly because I love to see how everybody improves. But the Imperial Olympian was Victoria Arlen, and she she was on in the 25th season of Dancing with the Stars. And just 18 and just 18 months before dancing on the show, she had been in a wheelchair, but she danced so well that she made it to the semifinals. So we're going to talk a bit more about how this is possible when we come back. This is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. 
Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interests through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Hi, this is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and reinvention coach, coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio with my show, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. So as I was saying, Victoria Arlen appeared on the show Dancing with the Stars just 18 short months after being in a wheelchair. She was actually in a pretty vegetative state. And she recalled that when she was in that completely, almost completely vegetated state, that she told herself that there was going to be more to her story. So she really is an epitome of how positive thoughts create positive beliefs, which can affect the body and behavior. She really did reinvent herself. Frankly, I thought she should have made the finals. She made it to the semifinals. And the thing I want to also tell you is she could not feel her legs due to whatever had happened to her. She danced that well without the use of her legs or feeling, I shouldn't say without the use, without being able to feel her legs. So that is absolutely amazing. So we now know that the brain can be rewired if we have a strong enough desire, if we have a strong enough belief, and if we have a strong enough expectancy. And expectancy means vision or really being able to visualize and see yourself the new way of being. So let me just tell you a little bit more about how the brain gets rewired, and then we will be bringing on our guests. The, the, if you had a shed, say, in your backyard, and you always went to the shed from your back door, and you went to the shed back and forth a lot, the grass would stop growing on that path. I'm sure you've seen that where, where all of a sudden there's like a little trail, a little mud path where people go back and forth a lot. Now, let's say for whatever reason, you decided to go out the kitchen door to get to the shed instead of the back door. And you decided to do that all the time. What you would find is a new path would begin to get worn between the shed and your kitchen door. And the old path would start to grow over. That's actually how our brains get rewired. We're always creating new neural pathways. When we learn something new, when we believe something new, it, we now know through the use of imagery that we have for the brains that there literally is new neural pathways get created and different parts of the brain can light up. So this is so fascinating because we can all do this. We just need to have enough desire, 
belief, and expectancy. So anybody who has a mind, brain, and body with enough desire, belief, and expectancy can do this. And it starts by changing what we say to ourselves and how we envision ourselves. So if you wanted to take a trip, say, from where you live to somewhere else, how would you do it? Well, first you'd say to me, well, are you crazy? What do you mean? Somewhere. I can't take a trip to somewhere. I'd have to know where I'm going. I'd have to have a destination, right? And that is, of course, what you would do. So let's say you choose a city where you've never been but have heard wonderful things about it. Now you have your destination in mind, but you don't know how to get there. You need to decide whether to fly or take a train or bus or go by car. In the case of a plane, you would sure hope the pilot knew what coordinates to set in order to set in order to fly from point A to point B. And likewise, if you were on a train, you hope the train conductor would know which tracks to take or the bus driver to know the route, even if you didn't. In the olden days, if you were driving, you would take out a map or several maps and plan your trip, or you would go to AAA and get a trip tick. Nowadays, you get in your car and use Google Maps or your GPS to guide you. You don't have to know how the route is going to be, which highways and byways. As long as you have your destination in mind, you just have to know what instrument to use to help guide you there. So that is why I have created a life roadmap for how to uh, create the life you love. And the first part of that in, in doing that is creating a vision of what you would really love to have in your life and how you would love to be in your life. So you have to say, I can, I can have this vision. It doesn't matter what the current conditions are, the so-called facts, the number of birthdays I've had, what my limitations are. Instead, you ask yourself, if I could wave that proverbial magic wand, let's, let's think of it as a possibility wand, what would I love to have and what would I love to be in my life? You don't have to know the how. You just have to have your destination and your vision in mind. And our vision encompasses several areas of ourselves. It covers our health and well-being, our relationships, whether that's with a spouse or partner or at work or children, extended family, our vocation, vocare, what do you want there? And it also covers, of course, time and money freedom, how much income we want and what we want to do with that time and money freedom and how we want and who we want in our environment. So it starts with creating the vision. And I would like to introduce you now to Cherie Walston. She is a coach and author. She wrote the, the book, Your Exit Strategy. Um, Cherie, why don't you tell the, our audience your exit strategy and igniting your brilliance? Can you tell yes. us a little bit more about that? Sure. Hello to everyone, and thank you so much for having me on your on your show today, Trudy. I am mm-hmm. I am Cherie Walston, and I am the founder of Igniting in a Brilliance. And Igniting in a Brilliance um, is a company that helps women be the best leader, whether it's in their personal life, their business life, and help them to to really shine and to use their inner brilliance. What I call their their inner wealth, um, their talents and their gifts, and to really get out there and radiate in the world. And so I wrote the book called Her Exit Strategy, The Working Woman's Freedom Plan to Live Your Big Vision. And I wrote this book for women like myself, who working women, women in corporate America, who desired something beyond their nine-to-five job, whether that's to create a a, a mission, a cause, um, or to create their entrepreneurial dream. It talks about, you know, helping women step out of their comfort zone, but yet first having a vision for your life and how do you exit out of the things that are getting in your way of living your big vision. Right. And what I especially found fascinating about your story, Cherie, was – would you be willing to tell the audience about how your vision literally um, has been impacted, your actual vision, and then what you decided to do with that? 
and we will get back to that as soon as break is over. This is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 BC to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 BC. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Hi, this is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and also a reinvention coach, and we're coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. And we were just talking with Cherie Walston, and I was commenting on her vision and what had occurred in her life, where what happened with her vision, literally, and how she created a wonderful vision for her own life. So, Cherie, could you talk about that, please? Yeah, sure. I'll just go, um, try to go fast forward. Well, first of all, when I was a very young girl, I always had this imagination. It was like my way of escape from negative things like being bullied and all that. And so I would always envision myself, how I saw myself as – as an adult, what I was doing. And so I was really creative with my imagination. And then fast forward into my adult years, I carried that same concept when I visualized what I wanted for my life, you know, what kind of career, how I saw myself showing up in the world. But in the midst of all that visualization that I was doing, I would later find out in my late 20s that I had that I had a disease called uveitis of the eyes and they couldn't, didn't understand, you know, how, didn't have a cure for it, didn't know how it was developed. I later found out it was an autoimmune disease. And so I started having different challenges with, with my vision. And then a, a couple of years after that, I had cataracts and I was very young. All these things were happen, happening before the age of 30. And then I got glaucoma. And so it was like an avalanche of issues. And in the midst of all that, I watched my once expansive vision turn into tunnel vision. And it was a shock to me because I did go kind of like in a tailspin. Oh, my God, what am I going to do with my life? You know, I may Mm -hmm. lose my vision. I had all these hopes and dreams for my life. I visualized what my life looked like, what I would be doing and what I wanted to do. And yet now, now I'm literally challenged with my eyesight. And I remember coming back from the doctor's office and just falling 
falling on my knees and crying and something just in my spirit said, get up. I've carried uh-huh. you this far. And from that day forward, I decided not to allow my out of vision circumstances get away, get in the way of my inner vision light. So let me just and so, rein- yes. reinforce that. You made a decision. You really said to yourself, I am not going to allow my outer vision challenges to affect this wonderful inner vision I have for my life. I'm still going to move forward and be able to move forward with this vision that I have for my life. Is that, is that right. what you would say? Yeah. It was really yeah. what you said to yourself. You could have stayed fallen down. You could have just mired in your circumstances, but something within you, whether it was your higher self or whatever whispered to your soul that you needed to get up and move forward and you listen to it. Right. You, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you start rethinking? You, you made that decision and then what happened? I made that decision and I, I realized that I didn't want to make myself a victim. Whoa, it's me. And mm-hmm. I, I'm a woman of faith. And I began to shift my, my attitude and my focus about it. I, and it was like, okay, God, so I'm dealing with this situation. I'm going to shift my mindset to choose to look at it as a gift. How do I use this? Mm-hmm. How do I use this gift? And so I began to shift the way I saw myself and I looked at how I could inspire Fire other people how to move beyond their perceived limitations and still live their big vision life. Right. And so. Mm-hmm. And if you could do that with. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sorry to talk over you. Uh, I was going to say, and if you could do that with an actual limitation in, in the physical world, think about how people often give themselves limits just within their own heads that they can't do something because they're too old or they don't have enough education or Mm -hmm. um, they're too heavy or whatever it is that they're limiting themselves. So it's really possible that no matter what, we can get out of the space where we are limiting ourselves, right? We can just move forward. That's that's true. That's That's very true. And it's really about having a compelling vision and I always Mm -hmm. say you know the compelling vision and a vision that really attracts and um, draws the things that you want and instead of focusing on okay this is what's going on in my life Um, I can't do this because of this and I could even say I can't do this because of my vision but what I chose to do was okay make adjustments The Mm -hmm. vision of what I wanted for my life didn't change. I made some adjustments to what I could do. And I was still able to have this amazing career, still been able to travel, you know, write a book and do all these things that I visualized myself doing Mm -hmm. and the type of career that I was going to be in. Right. So So your desire was so strong that you just kept moving forward. Yes. It, and mm-hmm. I, I guess I would say it was the fight in me. I'm very, I'm re, I learned in the midst of that that I'm resilient. Mm-hmm. Right. And even though I had a lot of fear, I chose to walk in courage. Mm-hmm. 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 Very good. So and, that quote and, that I said about you have to have courage uh, to leave side of the shore in order to cross the ocean really applies to you. Yes, exactly, exactly. And sometimes you just have to let go of the bars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just yeah, let yeah. go and just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to do it. But like I said, it's the compelling vision and the mm-hmm. belief that, you know what, I am going, I'm a fighter. You know, mm-hmm. this is what I want for my life and I'm going to go for it no matter what. And it really was a point where I even challenged myself to see what I could do. Mm-hmm. So what, and in I what, way? It. what way? 
Okay, let, we'll talk about in what way you were able to do that as soon as we come back. This is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back with Cherie. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Hi, this is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and reinvention coach, the host of Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. And we were just having a discussion with Cherie Walston of, of um, creating your inner brilliance. And she was explaining to us how she was able to overcome her literal visual vision challenges, and still create a life she loves. So welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to Cherie. So Cherie, yeah. what, yeah, so it sounds like, what would you really like our listeners to know at this point? What do you think is the most important thing that you can share with them? I would say not to be Not to be overcome by your, what I call your out of vision circumstances. You know, out of vision mm-hmm. circumstances are things that get, that get in your way to keep you from living your best life, keep you from stepping out in, and taking a chance on yourself to have those things that you want and desire and be who you want to be. Mm-hmm. So it's more or less instead of focusing on your outer vision challenges, create that inner vision light. What do you want to project in the world? How do you see yourself showing up? What do you see yourself doing? What do you see yourself having? And who do you Mm -hmm. see yourself being? Mm -hmm. And so that's the difference. If you focus more on that and allow that to propel you forward instead of that, instead of your outer vision circumstances. And so that's basically What I had to do is to challenge myself to not see myself as visually impaired, but visually inspired. Oh, I love that. Very good. Mm -hmm. So that was a I created for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was a choice that you made. It was a clear choice. And I think that's what's really important for everybody listening to realize and yes we don't know your circumstances maybe it's it's even more problematic than uh victoria arlen's or sheree's just mentioning and it could be something else besides a physical challenge but it's up to you to decide how do you want to create your life 
And I think one thing that's really important, and, and tell me how you feel about this, Cherie, I think you, you said it, it's not just having goals and visualizing it. It's really coming from that vision, wouldn't you say? Really being part of that vision and seeing if I were that person, how would I act? How would I feel? What would I do? And as you said, be inspired by that. It was inspired, again, comes from in spirit. How can I inspire myself to really be the person and have the things I want, but more importantly, be the person I see in that vision? Because when we really are, yeah, when we really are that person, that's when the magic comes. That is so true. I just got so excited when you said that. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. Because yeah. 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 Yes, because that's how I lived my life. It was mm-hmm. it, mainly I was inspired by how I saw myself showing up. And I'll give you an example. Before I even got into my career, I already visualized how I wanted to be as a professional woman. It was somebody way back in the day, you know, I used to dress up and and heels and carry a briefcase. And I had an administrative assistant job. And so a lot of people thought I was a manager. Uh But see, Uh I saw myself beyond that. So Mm. I was creating the vision of how how I wanted to show up. And walking in that, that vision, how I saw myself showing up, how I handled certain situations, allowed me, I think it was already in me sometimes, it's already in us. We have to access it. Mm-hmm. And I was accessing something that was already in me. I was igniting my own inner brilliance at the time. I didn't realize that then, right. but I was igniting mm-hmm. my own inner brilliance. And I began mm-hmm. to show up as if I already had it. I had it together, so to speak. And so it became who I was. It was already there. I just tapped into it. Right. Right. Oh, that's so that's so great. That's so important. Yeah, I remember being 15 and and having this just this inspiration of what I wanted to do with my life, which was I didn't take the uh, the corporate career path, but I took I became a licensed clinical social worker. And I remember knowing just so clearly that I wanted to be of help and of service to people. And I remember sometimes people would say, well, can't you leave the social worker at the office? And I would say, no, because that's who I am. It was just so yeah. much of who I am. And why I I started to shift from, and I still do have a uh, private practice, but why I started doing the coaching to really help people achieve even higher was because it was exciting to help people who thought that they were stuck reach for something higher, to recognize that they really aren't stuck. And that's why I I wrote my book, Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, which you can get at Amazon, and why if anybody goes to my website of truestcoaching.com for a limited time, they can download not only my life roadmap, which includes the vision pieces that we just talked about, but also there comes a workbook with it. And for a limited time, it is uh, absolutely free. So just go to my website, truestcoaching.com, and you can click on it and you can get this life roadmap and the workbook, which is totally free right now. And if anybody has any questions for either Cherie or me, I really hope that you'll call in to 866-451-1451 because the more you have questions and the more that either Sheree and I could be of assistance to you in helping you realize your own vision, the more exciting our lives are because we'll be of service and the more exciting your life will be because we will be of of help to you. So please feel free to call in to either one of us. Sheree, what is your website? Would you like to give that information? Sure. My website is Ignite. Brilliance.com. Igniting. It's fading in and out. Ignite. Okay. I think we may be fading in and out. Yeah, you were. Okay. Okay. Could you hear me? 
It was, uh, okay, I apologize, listeners, we have a little bit of technical difficulties. That's igniting your inner brilliance. Ignite my brilliance. I'm sorry, ignitemybrilliance.com. Dot com. Yeah. And her, yeah, and her exit strategy by Cherie, C-H-E-R-R-I, Walson, W-A-L-S-T-O-N. So I really hope that people will reach out to us and know that they can change their lives just like we have changed ours. Because in my case, it was really an inner, an inner, inner challenges rather than outer challenges. And I will talk about that as soon as we come back. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and reinvention coach, the host of Reinventing Yourself at Any Age, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Hi, welcome back. This is Trudy Tobias, your host for Reinventing Yourself at Any Age. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and also a reinvention coach. And we're coming to you live from BBM Global Networks and TuneIn Radio. And we're glad that you're back. So, Cherie, are there any other comments that you would like to leave our audience with? I'm 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 sorry. I would like to say... Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can. Yes. Okay. I would say to take some time and get still and listen to your heart. What Mm -hmm. is it that you truly want for your life? I think that's the best investment of your time that you can do. And it's not something that you can rush through, but the key is to really listen. And as you talked about last week, listen to the whispers of your soul. That's Mm. so important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you desire? And begin to take the steps to create that, that vision for what you want. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thank you, Cherie. We really enjoyed having you on the show, and I hope you'll come back at some point to give us more pearls of wisdom. I I started to say before the break that my reinvention was really an inner journey. Fortunately, I didn't have any outer circumstances in the sense of physical challenges, but I certainly did have inner challenges, 
I think part of choosing to be a social worker and just part of my personality was being a people pleaser, not wanting to rock the boat, wanting people to have the belief that everybody must love me, never wanting to have conflict. And all of those things can be great to a degree, but when it means giving up your own needs and your own self in the process, then we really lose something and we lose the gifts that we can really give to the world. So for me, it was changing my beliefs about how I wanted to show up in the world, still as a compassionate, caring person, but as somebody who was able to know that I'm just as important as everybody else. And that is the true essence of self-care. We touched on this a little bit last week, but self-care is taking care of our own needs while still factoring in other people's needs. So what happens so often is we think if we're taking care of our own needs, we're being very selfish. And we don't want, that is a very negative connotation and we don't want to be selfish. So sometimes we go to the opposite side, which is being selfless. And if we get to that, to an extreme, we can become self-abusive, actually, self-denying. So self-care really is taking care of our own needs and listening to the whispers of our soul, as Cherie just said. I'm going to repeat the quote that I mentioned last week which is we women are beginning to listen to the whispers of our own souls. This is by Glennon Doyle, by the way. We are finally asking ourselves who we really are and what, and what we want and speaking aloud what we hear. I will finish this quote when we come back and wrap up the show. This is Trudy Tobias, licensed clinical social worker and reinvention coach, host of reinventing yourself at any age, Coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. This has been Reinventing Your Life at Any Age with host Trudy Tobias. Join the conversation. Conquer fears about your future. Take emotional risks and reinvent yourself to become your most authentic and joyous self in order to create a life you love now. Right here on Reinventing Yourself at Any Age with Trudy Tobias. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company. 